everyone. Welcome back to Casa de Milo. And for today's video, I'm gonna do my very first mukbang. What I have here is the ginormous Mr. King Crab. I am so very excited. Napalitin ako siya three days ago. Gihapit gay. Hasod niya dili sa balay. 1.4 kilos. Dugay na kayo kung nagkuha tayo niya ito pang mga February. Ito lang yung Wednesday na hatod niya sa amo kay mga pag yun niya abot ni. Naman tayo one thing na ipagpasalamat sa nahitabuo ka ron kami mao ang makakaunta o export quality ng king crab. Kay on a normal day, dili kita kaka-order ani kay usually ginapadala ni siya sa Manila para i-export. For my sauce, I have here sukang pinakorat and I do have a melted salted butter. Alright. I also have here a cup of rice and sweet potatoes or kamote. Ganahan kayo po nga ang pagkaluto sa king crab. Kanabi itong simple ra siya. Pakuluan ra. Utangan na ko o Himalayan salt or pink salt ang akong suka. Let me put some. And okay. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to eat this Mr. King Crab. And at the same time, I will give you 34 random facts about myself. Why 34? 34 because the first truth or the first fact is that I am now 34 years old. Ang atong unang buhaton is idismantol sa nato si Mr. King Crab. So oh my god, I am so excited. Oh, oh my goodness. So just for comparison, kung mo niya kung kamot, mo niya siya katambok. So dako, it siya kayo. And I bought this for 900 pesos only. So it's very cheap for a king crab, right? Now let's try first with our sukang pinakurat with Himalayan pink salt. Oh my god. Whoa. So sweet and I can't wait to eat everything. Let's remove the other leg. Oh my goodness. And let me dip it sa ato melted butter. Mm. Oh my god. Grabe kalami. Okay, so I'm not sure kung wasa ako unahon, but let me give you my random fact again. I stand 5 feet and 8 inches. And my shoe size is 9.5 or 10 inches. Ako na rin tangtango nin sa iyang lubot na part. Ah, my God. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, lisod kay mag-istorya nga lamik kayo ang pagkaon, ngayon yung mong atubang. So masigdili na ako mahuman ng facts about myself karon. Okay. Alright, lamik kayo ang suka. Hmm. Heaven. 
I am a nurse by profession. And while I was studying, SK chairman would go at the same time. My first job was as a company nurse. I was working as a company nurse for a mining company. Oh, I can't wait. I do have here this. And this is what I'm going to use to crack this shell. It's very thick. I don't have a crab cracker. And I don't think it will work on this one as well because it's very big. I'll just hit it hard with this one. And, oh my gosh! Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so I had to excuse myself for a while because I have to crack this one. I can't crack it in front of you. It's too messy. So this is already a cracked leg or king crab leg. So let me give you a very sweet bite of this leg. Mm. Ah. Oh my god. This is so heavenly. Mm. Alright. So, sa bata pa ko, my dream job was to become a doctor. Pero, I have a really bad case of vertigo, so I don't think I'll be able to function as a doctor well. So, I have to give up that dream. So, dili na ko magdrama. Anna, about Anna, because I'm happy where I'm at right now. My zodiac sign is Capricorn. It's the 10th astrological sign. I was born in the year of the tiger. As a Capricorn, I am very ambitious, goal-oriented, and organized. And I'm very proud of that. Mm. What's the most interesting gift that I've ever received from someone? I got it from a friend this year, and it's a flashlight with Lulu. If you know about that, don't judge me. I am single. I am single. Mmm. So sweet. And mo nang ganahan ko sa sukang pinakurat kay halang-halang bitaw siya. Though, dili kay siya halang, pero naagad siya ay bite. Ma-feel good ni mo. And I love it. I love the taste of it. So, so much. Okay. Mmm. Okay, this next fact about myself, I am not proud of it. Sa bata pa ko, nagdula ko sa balay sa akong nino. I was only 7 years old back then. And, na po'y nakita na gold na sing-sing. Of course, at that time, wala pa ko kay lagos ay value sa gold. So, naganahan ko niya, mong gidala na ko sa among balay. And, oh my goodness, since then, my sister has been teasing me about it, and maybe I will never see the end of it. She keeps on teasing me. I have a broken nose bridge, and this is not inborn. When I was little, 
na ay also nga mga panagatan sa mo, mas nigan. And I was enjoying with my friends, naglatay-latay mi sa kawayan, na hilos na akong isa katiil. And my nose hit hard sa kawayan. And mo ni siyang medyo distorted ang akong nose bridge. So if there's one thing that I would like to repair sa akong naong, definitely it's my nose bridge. Another fact about myself. Hmm. Since I was grade one or maybe kindergarten, until ni grade six ko, until ni high school ko sa fourth year na mo, did you come out as president? And grand slam ko per me kay from president until pinakaobos per me ko man nominate pero ang akong madagan Prince Charming record. Hmm. In terms of pet peeves, I have a lot, but mostly sa social media. I hate it when people don't have social media etiquette. One thing I hate the most na makita ang nag-post sa social media is kanang picture sa patay. Why? Because kita man gani na buhi, magkabuang magalitag pangita sa ating anggo para i-post na to sa social media. And, kung sa pakaibatiyon sa inyong family member or friend, gagipost ninyo iyang nao nga patay na na makita sa tanang tao. If you would like to keep a memory of it, just save it for yourself. Don't post it on social media. If you notice, na yung mga tao nga ka na mag-attend o mo video, di rin mga nila na makaya mo tanaw sa unsay sulod sa lungon. Unya i-post na hinuna to na sa social media. So I hate that. Also, people who are overly woke, ka na bitaw ngurag too much ra ang ilang ka-aware sa nahitabo sa palibot about racism, about the society, I feel like too much ra. And I know some friends come to mind. I respect them. But personally, I don't like it. Another thing. I don't like people nga murag bright kayong sa social media. But when you see them in person, nga nga. Ang ilang gi-exude nga persona online is different from what you see in person. So for me, pretentious siya kayo siya. One more thing. I have been a victim of catfishing. It's a very painful experience. I plan to share it in my in, in the future. I am not ready to talk about it yet. I'm telling you it's a very interesting story. And that's something that you have to look forward to. Hmm. I'm so pretty lame. I have IBS. It's what they call an irritable bowel syndrome. I've had it since I was a child. That means many visits sa CR in a day. That's the reason why I am so pretty anal about um, a very clean bathroom. Dili ko ganahan nga basta ang saw. As much as possible, I'd like to keep it dry and clean at all times. Now, one more thing, I am not a very lucky person in terms of raffles. While I was still working as a call center agent sa Cebu, I was pretty much good at sales. In fact, that's the very reason why I got promoted as a product specialist for a payment solution. One of the prices na dapat na mo madaog if makahit ni sa mong goal is an iPod Nano. 
So I had four entries against my colleague who only had one. And guess what? I did not get it. And that's the reason why I'm always working hard to be able to get the things that I want. Mm. Next thing. The most expensive meal that I've ever eaten was worth 7,500 pesos. When I went to Europe, I had a long layover in Singapore, like for 12 hours. So to make use of my time, I decided to roam around the city. Of course, I can't not go to the Marina Bay Sands. So I went there and I went to their Sea La Vie restaurant and sky bar. It's not a very huge order of a lobster with rice krispies on top. It's just pretty small, but it cost around 150 US dollars. All right, another thing about me. I can't sleep kung na katapad sa bed. So that's the reason why single ra akong bed. Next fact about myself. Kasagaran first impression sa tao sa ako kay stricto strict when i was in elementary in high school in college if na koy ma close and ma recall na mo ang among first meet up or meetings the first thing that they would tell me was that they thought i'm a very strict person but really i am just an introvert and that's another fact about myself so i am introvert but not necessarily shy you know how introvert people don't like going out a lot because it drains their energy. Introvert people usually love to stay in their room because that's when they will be able to regain the energy that they lost. Socializing. Being quiet does not mean that you are shy. Just like being alone does not necessarily mean that you are lonely. Ah. Okay, so later na na, kay mo lang nagdisot ko open. So let's try this one. Hmm. If you will ask me what's my craziest dream or wildest dream, it's for me to see Toro Toro or live sex. Hmm. Oh, let's open this baby up. Mm. Oh my god, this is the most challenging thing that I've ever done today. I may need the help of a spoon. Okay. Mm. Do you see this? This one's my favorite. Love, love, love it. Okay, just bear with me on this one. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Oh my god. Look. <gasps> uh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my Sweet potato here. Mm. Okay. I am a middle child. But that does not mean that I have the middle child syndrome. If I remember it right, and this is another fact about myself. When I was still a child, our eldest brother, as well as my only sister would tease me always or all the time that I am an adopted child. Please, I'm telling you, don't do that to your kids or to your siblings because it really will mess up the psyche. Like for myself growing up, I always have questions about myself. If I'm really adopted or if my parents are really my parents, 
it will give them doubts whether they're part of the family or not. Mm. This was my favorite mug, and excuse me if I'm using this, I do have lemonade, and I don't drink coffee, so what's the use of buying mugs, right, if you cannot use it? So I use it for anything that's not coffee. I bought this in Hong Kong when I went there in 2017. Do you guys have guilty pleasures? I do. And this is another fact about myself. On social media, I do have a lot of friends, right? We all do. We also have friends that are too feisty. They always keep posting really negative things on social media. For a person to wake up with those messages, it's so irritating. However, I will not unfollow them because I love reading posts about their misfortunes in a day. There is one place, by the way, other than the Philippines, of course, that I would love to live in. It's going to be definitely Italy. I love Italy so much. I am the biggest fan of pizza, pasta, and gelato. And my love for pasta, by the way, it's just an acquired taste. It's not something that I really loved growing up. At first, I don't like eating pasta. But the more I tried eating it, I started loving it. And now, if I have to go to any restaurant, the first thing that I'll, I'd love to see in the menu would be the pasta section of it. Guys, believe it or not, I have an irrational fear of dogs. How did I develop it? I don't know. But as far as I can remember, when I was a child, I had this dream that I was attacked by two humongous dogs. And that's when or how my fear of dogs started. And until now, I have not really gotten over it. All right, guys. Yes, I'm afraid of dogs. And that's the reason why we don't have dogs at home. But some other days, I would sometimes think of getting one just so I'll be able to overcome my fear. I am a very shallow person in the sense that I love everything beautiful. Aesthetic value is very important to me. So that's the first thing that I would love to see in a person. I'm sorry about that. In terms of perfume, my body doesn't react well with citrusy scents. That's why all my perfumes and shout out to those who are always giving me perfume for Pasalubo. I love powdery scents. It mixes well with my body chemistry. Mm. Now another thing 
I moved to a different school when I was in high school because of a swimming class. Maulok kayo ko magpakita sa home legs. Sa una, kaniwang kayo ko. That's one of my insecurities. Ang akong pagkaniwang sa una. Kaya kinahanan na magsuot ang swimming trunks, I had to move to another school because I don't want to attend our swimming classes. Mm. Guys, it's so sweet. And by the way, while I'm eating, I would like to give a shout out to my 58 subscribers. Thank you so, so much, guys, for subscribing on my channel. And I promise that I'll produce more quality content in the future i really 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 appreciate you for subscribing to my channel